Here, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have you hook I'm gonna have you hook her up just because okay. I want to make sure she doesn't get spooked by me oh, yeah. reaching. Come here, come yeah, just walk up to her and hook her up. There you go. Good girl. Good girl. Awesome. You're okay. Come on, baby. You're okay. Just wait one sec. Wait, it's okay. You're okay. Oops. Hold on. You're okay. You're okay. So do me a favor. Unhook that. So see that little nub. Make sure the nub doesn't go near the tag. So just clip it the, yeah, the other way. The other, yep, the side. other way. See where they see that little black tag? Yep, stop right? shaking. See the there. tag? Yeah. Make sure the nub goes the other way. Oh, this, yeah. oh, this like that. Other way. Other way. Oh, so this. It, right. Because like, oh, that see. nub has gotten caught under that tag and unhooked it before. Ah, I see. Okay. Got it. If it's happened and I've noticed it and it's yeah. not been good, I, yeah. yeah. Okay. Don't do it again. All right. So leave <laughs> this open. Don't have to okay. worry about that. All right. Now, the other thing, remember, less leash, less dog. Okay. So if you have a foot of leash, you're uh -huh. going to have less dog, all right? And I'm sure you guys know, but always through the loop. Oh, yeah. Like that, okay. Oh, so I have the <laughs> weight, I have the waist <laughs> leash, so I don't have to worry about that yes. so much. I have almost had my wrist broken once from that. <laughs> Better than her getting away. Oh, for sure, <laughs> for sure. Does Ellie wait? Boop. Wait. Okay, so there's people, wait. Oops, wait. Okay. Come on. It's okay, yes. Oops, hold on. Hang on. Okay, okay. yes. Yeah. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. Come on, it's okay. We're going this way. Okay, we're coming too. So when I stop her pulling, right, uh -huh. let the leash go. See if she moves, we're going to stop. See when she leaves it? Uh -huh. Slack will go. You're okay, you're okay. Now she's pulling because she's afraid. Yeah. She's not pulling to get to the next scent necessarily. She's fearful. Uh huh. Oh, you think that's what it is? Yeah. Well, look at her body language. Yeah. Right? Now she might also be fearful because when she pulls, her leg hurts. So that could be, it could be a little chain of events. Now we got somebody right here, so I'm going to wait and see what they're going to do. Okay. Wait for her to check them out. Yes. Okay, good. She's bouncing off the marker, but see how she's not taking food? Yeah. Okay, she's taking food again. Okay. Okay, see how she's pulling a little less because I'm really incrementally, uh -huh. incrementally stopping. You're okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You're okay. It's okay. okay oh, it's okay. 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 You're okay. It's okay. So I just gently touched her foot with my foot. Oh, okay. It's okay. So it's okay. You're okay. It's okay. You're okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, she's pulling because she's scared, guys. Yeah. She's not pulling to get to a scent. She's she's frightened. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that's a whole different level of, of motivation when you're afraid than when yeah. you're trying to get to a scent. Right. Yes. Yeah. Did I right, right, walk sideways? Side. Yeah, just, I might need to go on that side, though. So, okay, you know, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'll try to stay out of your way. So. I'd appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, I just, I just, well, because she's hard enough to deal with and she's already afraid. I know. Yeah. So try yeah. not to crowd because I'm trying yeah. to, you know, I'm trying to get yeah. some work done. Well, a lot of times she won't, she always looks for us. Right. You know, and she wants to make sure that we're coming with her. Yeah, we're coming. It's okay. Coming. There we go. We're coming. Yeah, she's looking for cars. Looking in the car. Yeah, because she's trying to get away. <laughs> right? So she's looking for safety, guys. Yeah. Right? So she's not pulling because she's trying to get to a scent. She's pulling because she's afraid. Okay, she's still taking food. That's good. Do not walk in front of me, bro. Don't, because she's going to pull. I, yeah. I, okay. I got an 80 yeah. pound dog, yeah. all right? Yeah. So yeah. don't walk in front of me. I don't need yeah. any extra yeah. motivation for her to pull. <laughs> True. And I tell her to Sharon, and Sharon tells me all the time, depending on who's. So she's starting to downshift a little bit. I'm going to let her get over here and smell. So while she's gathering scent, look around and see what's happening, right? So while she's gathering scent, that's where you can look at the environment. So just by doing this start stop like we did, she's pulling less. Oops, don't let her go behind you because that could be dangerous. Again, so when, she's, so when she's pulling to get up here, I let her go. Okay. If she was trying to pull me down to that hydrant, I would stop. 
Okay. If I'm two, three, four, five feet, I just yeah. hustle up. I just let the dog okay. get there, okay. right? So that you have to determine like, is this dog pulling me down the street or are they just trying to get to the smell? Okay. If the smell's really close, just hustle up for them. You're okay. Yes. Good girl, you're okay. See, I hadn't thought it was here that was doing Yeah, she's, she's pulling because she's afraid. Okay. Yeah. But yet, when she wants to go to the beach. But that's a bigger motivator. Ah, okay. Right? So. You might be afraid if you start, if, so let's say you decide to go bungee jumping okay. and you're kind of afraid, but you see a bunch of people do it and you're like, well, they're bigger than I am. I'm, I'm gonna be okay, right? You're still a little nervous. So if she's afraid, but I gotta get to the beach, big motivator, especially if the beach predicts Frisbee, right? right? Yeah. So. So we got a lady coming with a bag. We got a guy up there with a backpack. We got this dude over there she doesn't care about. Got two people coming behind us. So again, while she's gathering scent, that's the time you take to, you know, figure out the environment. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get these people that walk by. I'm gonna get those people, but I'm gonna be off to the side. And I'm just gonna yes and treat her for watching them. What a lot of people don't do, see how she's not pulling now? So start, stop. Right in the beginning really lets the dog know, this guy, he's not going to let me pull. I'll let her pull up to a bush. I'll let her go up to a scent, right, where I'm going to wait right here. Yes. Okay, we're going to mark and pay for this lady with the bag. Yes. Like, thanks guys, this is good. Yes. Okay, nice. So we got another we got a kid, right? Who's gonna be bouncy and jumping around. I'm gonna just wait for her, right? I'm just gonna wait for her. I'm not gonna point anybody out. When she notices, I mark yes and pay. Yes! Right, we got a little key sound right there. Sounds like dog tags. I'm gonna get a uh <laughs> That's okay, we're gonna get these people in a sec. Looking for treats. She's gonna notice them any second. Okay. Yes! Yeah, she's lifting her paw up. We're not yeah. gonna walk too far, because I don't wanna stress her leg, yeah, we'll but we'll get enough. I'll show you, yes! I'll show you how to do this. So that little kid was looking at her, direct eye contact, you gotta watch out for that kind of stuff. People will stare at your dog because she's beautiful, but they may look in her eyes and that could be threatening to her. Yes. Okay. All right, we got another group of kids coming. Wait for her to check them out. Yes. See how she's bouncing off the marker? Yeah. Right? She's looking for me when I say Y E S. Yes. Right? And I'm not letting the duration build. Yes. Now, two things have happened since we've been in this spot. One, yes. She bounced off the marker. Yes. Two, she looked at me like, hey, man, treats, treats, treats. Treats are starting to trump. And three, disengage and gather scent. So that's a good sign. Despite the stress she has, she's acclimating quickly. You're okay. It's okay. Good girl. You're okay. You know, and if her front leg has got a chronic pain, that's going to cause her to be a little bit more fearful too. Yeah. That's the first time she hurt this leg. She hurt the other leg, the left leg, uh, yes. previously. Pay for the check-in. So, and it, so. The other it thing, the other thing that I would recommend, uh -huh. get a waist leash. A waist leash. Like I have? Oh, yeah. Here's why. If something happens, okay? Yeah. Respectfully, you guys are a little older, right? Yeah. And if you yeah. fall and you hurt yourself and yeah. she's on your wrist, it'd be a lot harder to get her home yeah. if your arm's broken than if she's on your wrist. I mean on your waist. Yeah. If she I fall me. if I fall and I break my arm right now, look, I'm getting my dog home. Yeah. 
and she's not getting loose. Yeah. So very, so see here, I'm gonna let her hustle up. Okay. okay, it's okay, good girl, right? So a lot of people would have a problem with that pulling. Yeah, I, don't. I don't let her, don't. let her do it. Okay, let her do it. What if, what if you wanted it. a beer? Yeah. And I held it here and said no. <laughs> And yes. you really wanted that beer because yeah. you haven't had one in six weeks. Yeah. When this is happening and yeah. it's close, let her smell. It's going to reduce her stress. Yeah. Oops, you're okay. You're okay. Come on. Now, if she wants to pull me across the parking lot, we can't do that. Right. But I can let her go over here and smell this. Most pulling is predicated on scent or trying to make contact with people or dogs. Okay. Dogs aren't pulling randomly. They're pulling because they usually, there's something they want to go smell. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, rest that front leg. Rest her legs. I mean, even, you know, make, you know, just have her walks be just enough so she can get out, do some smelling, go to the bathroom and then come home. Yeah, like don't play doing. Frisbee. Don't have her yeah. run in the backyard. Like really rest that leg. Yeah. Cause you could end up with some kind of major problem that's chronic. Oh, we don't want to do that. No, no, no. So rest her. You know, and the hot weather is going to be here, and yeah, she she's got a big coat, so. Uh oh, her. I bet. Ha <laughs> 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 good girl. It's okay, come on. So we got a blind corner coming up here. So look, she goes right over to the weird thing. Yes. Market payer for checking out those boards. Now wait. Now as I go towards this blind corner, notice short leash because I don't know what's going to happen. Right. right? Oops. Do not let her go behind you like that. So switch your body because if she goes behind you, she could hurt you. She could pull your arm out. Right. She could go eat something. So don't let her do that. Yes. Pay for the bikes. Yes. Okay, I'm going to avoid that glass. Zelly, wait. Okay. Good girl. You're okay, honey. You're okay. Because I don't know if she walked across the street with them. <laughs> right? Wait. That's one thing she does. She likes to run across the street. You gotta wait. Yeah. We try right? Again. Well, you, it's not trying. You do it every time. Yeah. Right? A lot of people think training happens on Tuesday at 2 o'clock. And while it can, we, 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 we encourage planned training. It really happens, yes, every day. all the time. So she just heard or saw somebody. Yeah. It's okay. Yep, yep. So now she's a little distracted. Okay, come on, baby. There's no question she's right. She's oh yeah, she's she is all there. Yeah. She's paying attention. Wait. Okay. And she loves nice. Okay, we got a baby carriage coming. So what I'm gonna do is let her gather some scent and then I'm going to take a left into this parking lot. Okay. You guys stay right there. I'm just going to wait for her to notice. Yes. Hold on, honey. Yes. Right, so you see how I create that distance? Because so I don't know what they're going to do. Right. Oh, you have a huge dog, right. right? So always practice extreme dog etiquette, meaning you go off to the side. You create the distance. Do not trust that people will do it. Because even if she just stands there, she could still frighten someone. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right, I understand. And she yeah. could start barking. So let's say something happens and she starts barking, okay? and you're 10 feet away, better than 10 inches away. Yeah. Right, because at least then, and people really respect that. Yeah. They're like, oh, thank you, you know? Yeah. No, so right. you always do it. I do it with my dogs. I do it with any dog that I walk, regardless of their breed, their temperament, because you don't know if people are allergic, afraid, or they might be dog lovers in reach. Yeah. And they That's walk, I had a kid one time, I moved off to the side and he went to reach for my dog. I said, don't pet my dog. I said, don't reach for dogs, don't do it. You're gonna get bit one day, kid. He was like seven. I said, don't reach for dogs, ask. Right. You know, trying to save that kid from getting hurt. Sure. You know. No, you're right. It's, 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 paying attention it's, it's you're huge. Old. You're okay, you're okay. You're okay. Oops, oops. So I'm gonna go a little wide here because we got a blind corner. I know you want the hydrant, classic combo. <laughs> dogs and hydrants. Yeah, 
Right. right. Well, while she's gathering that scent, I'm going to keep my eye peeled here. You're okay. You're okay. 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 Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah, well, there's a lot of dogs. This is like Facebook for dogs right here. Okay. Like they, all, they all post up. Yeah, yeah. P-mail. No <laughs> doubt. Yeah, I guess I can meet you next week. I don't know. My mom, okay, honey, leave it all the way. Good girl. Wait. No uh, inordinate incidents of her picking up stuff off the ground or eating anything? No, good. she's pretty good. Okay, she's, nice. If I say leave drop it, it or leave it, she'll do it. Okay, that's good. So, because right. what I ask that is because if you have a dog who's really, really trustworthy in terms of not picking stuff up, you don't have to watch her so much, you can watch the environment. Oh, and then yeah. when something's coming and you want to counter condition, you'll be, you'll be set. Right. It's, it makes it tougher if you know, you're always watching to see if they're picking stuff up. Yeah. She's very cautious about that. Anyway. And she doesn't like anything new. Even if I give her a new food. So we're going to wait right here for a sec. She won't need it right away. She'll, she'll sniff it. Like the toy she gave her. She didn't yeah, yeah. go to him right away. She played well, with you know, she yes. them. And then well, it could be viewed as thing. weird stuff too, you know? Yeah. Hold on, honey. I, I always need to work my triceps, but not that much. <laughs> Oops. Hold on, honey. Hold on. Hold on. She's Hold on. Workout. Hold on. <laughs> she is. Yeah. Hold on. All right, go get your smells. So again, I'm not on that side. I'm on this side because people are coming. So if I need to move, I need to make sure my physics are this way. If I'm over there, it's going to be a little more cumbersome. So again, it's really, it always boils down to, yes. 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 A lot of converging people right now. Yes. Taking food. Yes. See, I wait. I wait until she makes contact and then I mark and pay. Hi, paying for a I'll pay for a check-in. She checked in, so I, I'll pay for that. Let her scent, yes. Let her gather her scent. Pay for these kids off to the side. Yes. And you'll see her head kind of perk up in her ears, right? Ooh, what is that? Like we got the baby carriage over here and kids running. Wait, yes. So she took them in. Yes. And that's why I tell people mark and pay for kids right. because they go from calm to chaotic in a blink of an eye. Right. Yeah. But she did good with all that. Yeah. Okay, come on, honey. Better than I would have done <laughs> if I was a duck. I know. Freak me out, kids. Kids, kids, freak me out. <laughs> Unpredictable. Yes. You were fine a second ago. Yeah. You were fine. Again, you know, I'm going to keep my sidewalk nice and, uh, you know, oriented to where people are coming and going. I got an escape plan right there, right? I got an escape plan right there. Got an escape plan right there. So you always want to figure out where can I get away real quick, right? Because I don't want to walk right towards these people. Right. Even if my dog was happy as heck, no issues, it's called dog etiquette. Right? So that's cool. Stay right there. And she's probably going to catch... It's okay. Honey, we're not going in. We're not going... So see how she's looking for doorways? She's looking for cars? She's trying to get away. Yes. Right? So we got the sudden environmental contrast right there. Anybody coming? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. getting used to the dog. Nobody else. Okay. Come on, honey. She's doing great. So those sneezes could be stress? Oh, really? Yeah, sometimes sneezes are stress. Okay. 
I'm gonna let her hustle up here. And the reason why I let her hustle is two things. If I move quicker, she's not pulling. Right. And if I move quicker and get her to here, she's less stressed, right? right? Again, if there's nothing conceivable in sight that she's trying to get to and she's pulling me, I'm gonna stop. But if I know she wants that corner, she wants that tree, I'm just gonna hustle to it. Okay. It's gonna save your arms a lot too. Right. Then we're gonna cut through here. Okay. I'm gonna stay off to the side, catch all these folks. Yes. 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 So you see I didn't pay for every, yes. I didn't pay for every single look, but when they really catch her attention uh -huh. and her ears perk up, I'm going to pay for them. It's okay. Leave it. Yes. Okay, come on, baby. Oops. Wait, we got to go this way, honey, because there's broken glass there. Oh. Okay. There you go. So again, I'm going to really mitigate my distance. Right, short leash, go off over the side. I'm using scent as my motivator. If she wants to go over here and gather scent, that's right. gonna help me with this person. Right? right? Okay. So why, why should I walk towards somebody that I know she might have an issue with if I can let her smell? Now you see how she's, see how she's going for stairs right. and doorways and cars? Yes. Right. She's afraid. Uh, she's ah, looking for an okay. exit. Okay. She's like, can, is this out of here? Right. Is this out of here? Right. I know that doorways lead to safety. I know if I get in the car, I feel safe. So that's why she's checking out doorways and cars because she wants to get out of here. That's why we're heading back. We don't want to stress her leg and we want to end on a high note. Yes. And she bounced right off the marker that time. Yes. Despite her stress, she's taking food the whole time, which is great. If she stops taking food, that means she's too stressed. Fear trumps food. Wait. Yes. Yes. Now what's interesting, yes, is that that woman, the last one, yeah. yes, she cared more about her than the other two. Right, I noticed that. Different so, gait, yeah. swinging a little purse. Yeah. So again, you know, people carrying guitars, bags. Now, the really heavy set woman yes. who had a weird gait, yes. who's swinging the little purse, the other two women, she paid attention, but she really watched her right. because that woman doesn't move like most people. Uh, okay. Right. Well, again, I mean, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to razz anybody, but just from the dog's perspective, yeah. if most of the people you're used to have a certain build and gait, and right. then you see somebody who's got a different one, and yeah. maybe you've had some unfavorable experiences with people that size, what happens is the dogs generalize fear easy. Uh. So they generalize, in other words, I've worked with dogs who, men with baseball hats, men with beards, yes. women with umbrellas, right? Yeah. So all these, right. yes. So all those things for the dog who's got Yes, issues with stuff, stuff that could be weird to them, that can be in the category. So you see this blind corner right here? Yeah. I'm gonna show you if you have to go past the blind corner, use a look, right? I do this with a dog I work with all the time. So as we're walking, I'm gonna go, Zelly, look. Yes, right? So when I get the look, if there's somebody there, I mitigate that. So what I'm gonna ask you to do, ask those guys to move all the way down past this Domino's car for me. Just let them know we're coming by with the dog. Okay. So ask them to move, please. Yeah. Yes. It's okay. <laughs> Leave it. Leave it. You're okay. Yes. I should have went back to you. It's okay. 
Don't open the door. No, oh, wait. Okay. Well, because it could open on her foot. Okay. So you see how much she wants to get back here? Yes. Yeah, because she's afraid yeah. and what she wants is safety. So right. that's why she's pulling. Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying that she's pu not pulling towards scent. Right, right. She's definitely pulling towards scent, but, but I would say I the think, yeah. vast majority of her pulling right. is because she's afraid okay. and she wants out. She wants, where can I get to safety? So that was my session with Zelly. She's fearful. Um, and it's a generalized fear. So that's why she's pulling, that's why she's trying to go inside uh, doorways and cars because she's not sure uh, what's gonna go on. And she's looking for you know, a safe exit and that's why she's pulling so much. And a lot of people, they don't pick up on that. They don't pick up on the dog is stressed and they're trying to pull to get to safety. They think the dog's pulling because they're dominant or whatever it is, but dog's pulling because she's fearful. That's, that's, that's how we do it.